Well, hey friends, and welcome back to Ursula's Farmhouse Cooking. Today, I would just like to really quickly show you how I feed my starter. Now, I, I'm gonna start with the starter. It stays in my refrigerator. And if I'm going to bake with it that day, I will make sure that I take it out like really about the night before. So the night before I'm gonna bake with it, I would feed my starter. Well, this has been in my refrigerator all this week and I need to feed it today. So let me show you what I do. So I, you, have to, you have to pour off half of the starter and you put it in a discard um, bowl. So I'm gonna put it in a discard bowl and this, is, this also has to stay in the refrigerator. It always has to stay. Now, the sourdough starter can go and come in the refrigerator and sit out, depending on if you're gonna cook with it or not that week. But I'm gonna go ahead and just eyeball this, and I'm gonna just pour off like half of this. So it looks kind of like pancake batter. It's very bubbly. You can see lots and lots of bubbles, so it's active. So here I go, I'm gonna pour off half of it. And this will be my discard. Okay, I'm gonna pour off a little bit more because that wasn't half. All right, that looks like it's about half now. It's below that line. You can't really see because I've poured it. But um, let's do a little bit more. We don't have to save that much. All right, now, you can't see it, but it's it's about right there. It's about halfway down. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add exactly 100 grams of filtered water. And it can't, it, and it needs to be a little bit warm, but it can't be over 100 degrees. So right now, the temperature of this water is 91 degrees, and that's fine. So it needs to be somewhere between 90 and 100 degrees. So I'm gonna put that into my jar of starter. And I'm going to add 100 grams of flour. So I'm going to put this up here and zero it out. I've got a scale right here, a digital scale. And I'm gonna just measure my flour in here. Let me get a spoon real quick. I always use wooden spoons. I don't use metal spoons with my sourdough starter. And I'm gonna just use 100 grams of, I'm using all-purpose King Arthur, and this happens to be organic. I don't believe it has to be organic. And I'm gonna do exactly 100 grams The water was 100 grams, the flour needs to be 100 grams. All right, and some people like their sourdough starter to be thicker and some people like theirs to be thinner, so you just have to see how you like yours. Um, I like mine to be kind of between thick and thin, really. All right. Now I'm going to just pour that into the sourdough starter. And I'm going to use a wooden spoon. You don't want to use a metal spoon. And we're just going to stir. And when you think you're done stirring, you need to stir some more because you have to scrape down the sides of the jar because all that good natural wild yeast is growing and um, you don't wanna you don't wanna mess that up. And ever so often I do, you know, wash out the jar really and truly about once a week I do. So um because it does get to looking pretty nasty, you know. But you just stir and stir and stir. Mm -hmm. And mine is getting nice and thick. Mine kind of looks like biscuit, biscuit dough right now. There is a fly in the kitchen. Okay, 
So this is the consistency that you want, and I'll bring it up like this. I like it to be thick like that, where it doesn't really fall easily from the spoon. I'm gonna mix it a little bit more, because I see some lumps in it. But um, it only has to be fed once a week in the refrigerator. But if you are gonna keep yours on top of your counter, on your countertop during the week, it needs to be fed every single day because you don't want your um, you don't want your starter to die, and that's that's exactly what will happen if it doesn't get fed enough, or if it starts molding, you'll have to throw it out and start over. I had to um, get this starter from a friend because. Um, Mine had actually started molding in the refrigerator several weeks ago, and it, it was very sad because I had had it for like almost five months. So it's heartbreaking when your starter dies because you've been taking care of it, you know, for so long. And um, I'm gonna really try harder on this one to take really good care of it so it won't go bad. But if you go on vacation or something or go out of town, you can just, you know, put it in the refrigerator and it'll be fine but it does need to be fed once a week. So if you're gonna be gone longer than that, you might want somebody to come and feed your starter. <laughs> but anyway, then um, some people give their, their starter names, like um, mine is Annabelle, and uh, my other one was Annabelle, so I'll just name this one Annabelle too. But um, I just think it's cute to give it a name. Some people name theirs Dorothy or Martha, so you know, just whatever you want to do, or you don't have to name yours. I just wanted y'all to know how I feed mine because it is, it, it does require lots of care. And um, I always rinse, rinse the little um, jar top of mine. And it doesn't have to be sealed on tight. You can just loosely put it on there like that and that will be fine. So, um, yeah, I just wanted to show y'all how I feed my starter today. So now you know. Y'all have a great day.